<laughs> so I tell the guy, well, E equals MC squared, buddy. Am I right? Am I right though? Oh, sorry. Well, hello there. And welcome to Adapt Academy Labs. We're guessing by now you've spoken to your users and heard what problems they're facing. Great job. Now it's time to figure out how we might solve these problems. So I'm gonna ask you to do something. I'm gonna ask you to reach into your pocket and retrieve the one thing you love perhaps more than anything else. The friend that never fails you, your constant companion, your phone. Just look at it. Did you know that this device is more advanced than the rocket that sent man to the moon in 1969? So here at Adapt Academy Labs, we imagined what might have happened if the guys who built that rocket in 1969 went ahead and tried to make a modern day smartphone. This is what we came up with. Behold, a thing of beauty. Sure, this 60s smartphone won't fit neatly into your pocket, but here's what it can do, and it's exactly what the phone in your hand can do too. Can take pictures, records video. It's a touch screen. It has speakers. It vibrates. It's a microphone. Just there. It can store data. It's a notepad. It can send mail. It can track where you are and tell you how to get where you're going. It can tell the time. It's also an accelerometer. An accelerometer. Accelerometer. And it can make a phone call. So when you're designing your app, think about what you might be able to see with those high definition cameras and where you might be able to take people using maps. Problems you're trying to tackle might look tough, but you're one of the most powerful humans in history we think you've got what it takes. So now you're ready to start coming up with some solutions. That's great. We'll see you over in the ideas factory. A typical smartphone has more computing power than Apollo 11 when it landed a man on the moon. You are more powerful than you realise and you can change the world.